here and uh, this is a live stream if you're joining me here on YouTube. Uh, so if there are any distractions or I'm responding to questions on stream, that's just par for the course. So let's go ahead and continue. Now, one thing I forgot to do in my last stream of this series is I forgot to rename my character. So I'm Erlen the Lone Wolf. Uh, never actually renamed a character here. Ah, okay. So uh, definitely we're going to be a mouse. And what do we want as a title? I'm, I'm thinking... We'll just do a little bit of uh, alliteration here. So, Mouse of House. <laughs> All right. We'll say okay to that. Well, I guess it's not alliteration. It's kind of like a rhyme. All right. I think everything is recording. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're good. All right. So, I don't remember where we left off. I've been playing a little bit of uh, Battle Brothers on my own, I believe, since last time I played. I'm not 100% sure on that. We don't have any level ups or anything. We do have injuries. As a matter of fact, this guy's injured, but I think he's been injured with a broken nose. I kind of let him go. This guy's very hurt, so we should put him in reserve. This guy's doing all right. I think we fought barbarians. Uh, Yeah, we had a mission here. I don't know if it was to fight barbarians or not. I think so. We've been fighting a lot of barbarians up here. My my initial goal is this ambition to get somebody up to friendly relations. I'm hoping after this one we'll be pretty close to that. And then we can get the heck out of the north here where we're fighting all these barbarians because they're a little tough for us at this stage of the game. Okay, we get our 530 crowns, which is pretty good money, and they are no longer having ambush trade routes. We have more contracts here. Let's really quickly check what our relationship... Okay, we're already friendly, so we're already there. We just have to have enough time pass to let that ambition complete. So, what are we doing as far as supplies? Okay, I could probably sell all this barbarian crap. Uh, tools and medical supplies would probably be good, although I don't know. Do we have anything we can craft here? Nah, nothing worth nor, nothing worth doing. Alright, so let's go ahead and sell all the barbarian weapons. We don't want to really keep those around. Bundle of crew javelins. I'm tempted to keep those just because we don't have any throwing weapons and we may want to keep some around. We're getting rid of the old wooden shield, though. All right, that's probably good enough for the meantime. So I think my initial plan here is we look at our squad. I only have two range combatants, and then the rest is a front line. I'd like to pick up, I think, at least two more. I honestly, the monk isn't that great of a range combatant, but better than nothing. So I'd like at least two more. And I'd like to get... Maybe more of these witch hunters. I'm not sure what the deal is with this guy. Did they rebalance the light crossbow? Because I feel like it's costing a lot less action points to reload than it used to. Oh, they did. They definitely changed some things with the crossbow. So crossbows used to only take two action points to fire. Now it's costing three, but the reload is a lot less action points, it seems like. Now, this may just be the light crossbow have, having been rebalanced. I'd have to look at some of the other ones. We don't get to see the reload action uh, for whatever reason here. All right. I think that's more or less what we want to do here. Food, we're doing all right. I don't really like the price of the tools here. I think we could probably do better. I might pick up the medical supplies because... They're kind of hard to come by. All right, that's probably good enough. Uh, no trade goods worth picking up. We could pick up armor here on the cheap. I think we would do well with that level of armor if anybody had the fatigue to use it. Okay, I I'm thinking about picking this up because it's kind of cheap. I mean, it's like half the price it normally would be, but we have to keep in mind you're having to use tools to repair it. So, may not actually be a savings, depending on how many tools it takes to repair things, which I don't know that off the top of my head. 
But Path of the Leather would definitely be an upgrade for us. So I'll go ahead and pick up one of those. Uh, we just shouldn't get too crazy with our spending. Uh, because we're looking for range, guys, nobody here is really what we're looking for. All right, let's see what the one skull contract is. Okay, this is going to be a, a caravan mission. It's not paying a lot, so it shouldn't be too long distance. I didn't see where it was taking us, but we'll ask for more. He says no. I'll accept the offer. Okay, so it's going there. I'm going to say I need some time to think about it. Let's see where that is. Ooh. Yeah, that's up here. I actually want to go up there because of the kennel. Uh, I'm looking to get one of those uh, new dogs. If we can get one. I don't know if there was one there. I also don't believe we've been to this town or maybe this town. So we'll, once we do this contract, I'll go up here. There shouldn't be any contracts up here because this is a bigger city. We'll come back down. I might check here depending. But then we'll head our way over here to hit these couple towns. That way we don't ever have to come up north ever again. And then we'll start heading, you know, to some of these towns over here that we have yet to... Uh, we've been there. We haven't been here. Start hitting some of these towns, come on down this way, and start going down to the south so we can get away from where these barbarians are. That's my game plan, at least at, the, at this initial stage. So I have no problem taking that contract, but we should at least very... Uh, check to see what this is okay okay so what are we asking for ah okay so bandit stole something from him and he wants it back let's talk pay that's not bad pay i'll ask for more uh he does offer it i'm gonna accept but i'm gonna say i need some time to think about it the problem with that contract is we still have men that are very injured and I really don't think I should accept it as, as a result. So I think we take the safer contract. It gets us going where we want to go anyway. And then uh, we'll go from there. This will provide provisions along the path, although we may have some things spoil on us. But that's all right. Like these will spoil within one day. So they'll they'll be gone. But this, this will all be preserved. So we'll be saving. I mean, this is not a whole lot of stuff. So not a big deal. All right, I think that's all we want to do in this town. Let's go ahead and equip that armor, though. So this guy has a little bit of fatigue left, despite having his nose missing. This guy would have probably been really fantastic if we had not had him lose that nose. This guy could do with more armor. That guy's already good. This guy could do with more armor. Well, I think this guy's the a good choice. It's not really even going to modify his fatigue because it's the same level. Then we upgrade this guy. And then this would be our man that we'd want to upgrade on top of that. There. We have generally upgraded all our, all our guys here. So we have a monk's robe and this. Probably end up selling these things, but for now. All right, let's get going. Okay, our ambition was fulfilled, which I knew it would be. This isn't going to pay us a ton. As a matter of fact, how much are we paying our men at this stage? 79 a day. So we'll make a little bit of profit on this trip. Oh, we got some barbarians, but they're going to stay away from us because there are not that many of them. And there's two caravans on the way. Uh, this guy's feeling better, so we'll put him back in the lineup. I mean, he still has hit points to recover, but it's getting there. Our tools are being reduced, unfortunately. Um, okay, so we either need 2,000 crowns. This will get us a banner. It will spend half of the crowns we save. So if, we want, if we're a, a tight spot money-wise, we wouldn't want to go with this one. Or we get the men back to a dozen. I think we do this because we're trying to do it anyway. Hopefully we have somebody worth hiring up here. But I'm mostly going here for the kennel. Okay, an old man with a walking stick is found resting uh, against a stone wall. His hand caresses the stone with a familiar touch. He stares at you. Jeweled rings glistening on one of his uh, bony fingers. Evening, sirs. What a fine day, no? 
going to go look at him, you realize he's a blind man. All right, so we could rob a blind man. Uh, I don't think that's something we're going to do. I mean, we are a uh, knight. Yes, we're a hedge knight. We're lowly on the order of knights, but we are going to behave chivalrously. So we will not rob a blind old man. Okay, we get uh, 180 crowns, and this uh, location is now well supplied, which uh, we'll see what that means once we get into town. Okay, so anytime you have well supplied, what it's going to do is going to add the number of wares that this town would normally have. And uh, it may help prices as well because you've got supply, right? All right, so first things first, let's go to the kennel. Aha, so this is the uh, new type of dog. Normally you have a war dog. This is a war hound. From what I understand, these are pretty good. Uh, and also the one thing uh, we have a benefit of by getting this dog from a kennel is it's a lot cheaper. All right, so what do we want as a name? Thorn the war hound. Cassio the war hound. Uh, or Rags the war hound. Now, I'm going to pick these ones because they already have armor equipped. I could pick one without armor. We could individually upgrade them later. Uh, and there's a number of ways you can do that. But I think for the the right now... Hmm. I think Cassio, that's kind of a noble name. <laughs> this is going to cost us a lot of money. And we're maybe not in the best spot for money, but... It'll have to do. Alright, so that doesn't mean that... I'm gonna pick up tools here, because that's not a bad price. See, there's a couple dogs here, but they're they're more expensive. We really can't afford to do a whole lot else. Uh, because I have to pay my men and all that. So, let's just leave. Uh, I am going to equip the dog. Uh, where to put the dog? I think for now, I'm going to give it to my character, and we'll go from there. Although it kind of makes sense to have somebody in the back have it, right? Because they're going to have an easier time deploying. Let's give it to the, the witch hunter. I guess it makes a certain amount of sense to have a dog on a witch hunter. Yeah, woof. <laughs> From what I understand, the, this new version, the Warhound, is extremely good. The War Dogs are more like a distraction. They can get kills and everything, but they're mostly there as a nuisance, and the AI has a habit of focusing them rather than your men, so it, it can save you. Uh, especially for your backline guys, it can be a saving grace. Do we want to stop here for maybe a contract? Let's Let's take a look. Yeah, there is a two skull contract. Let's see what it is. Looks like a travel contract. We're going to this location. It says it's four days or so. Um, let's talk money. A lot of money. The trick here, though, is we have to uh, survive those four days. Uh, he is paying me for killing things along the way. I'm going to accept the offer, but say I need to think about it. So we're looking for Soon Kajung. I'm sure I mispronounced the hell out of that. All right. Where is that on this map? It's four days away, so I expect it to be in the south. Oh, wow. It's all the way down there. I mean, we do want to go to the south, but that's who that's a long trip. Four days. I have to pay my men four days, which I, I really cannot afford. So the only way we'd be able to do that contract is if I sold stuff. Which I do have stuff to sell. Uh, I don't know if it's going to give me enough money to get me more days worth of traveling. Also, a lot of my food's going to spoil in that time. So we're going to come out of this with no food. Part of me is tempted to say no to this contract, but I'm not sure we can afford to say no to this contract. Alright, I'm going to camp. We'll wait until dawn, and then we'll make our decision based off of what we can do here. Uh, we can't hire any more men, sadly, because we can't really afford it. Um, let's go to the marketplace. 
We could sell some of our crappier weapons. I don't think that's going to give us enough money, though. That gives us four days right there. Doesn't give us a lot of leeway, though. Let's get rid of the cleaver and one of these things. All right. This is where we're actually hoping to have some fighting. I also would, uh, wouldn't mind to pick up some copper, but we can't afford it. All right. Taking this contract is going to put us in somewhat of a dire spot, but it will give us some money, so... I accept this contract. Alright, so our hands are going to be off the wheel for this. As soon as I hit leave and unpause, we're along for the ride. If anything comes up and attacks the caravan, we're going to have to defend it. All our men are more or less healed up. This guy still has this injury, though. One to three days. That should He should recover within the time it will take. Oh, I should ah, I should have sold that, the beaded necklace. Well, we can't sell it now. I forgot I had it. That would have given us some more money to work with. This is where I'm actually hoping to get attacked. Because if we get attacked, I might be able to get us a little bit more money uh, money out of the who we kill. Or supplies or what have you. This is going to make a future contract of traveling to every destination a little tougher. Oh, here we go. Well, the the, the patrol there killed, killed those barbarians. There have been updates since last I played, so a number of things have been modified. I haven't read all of the logs, so I couldn't tell you everything. Okay, we got, looks like, undead tracks here following the road. Uh, they're still ahead of us. Okay, we had all kinds of stuff over here on holds. Those would be tough to handle right now. I think we could do it, but it'd be tough. Especially as there's two of them. Goblins. Not attacking us yet. There's only five of them. Of what type, I didn't get to see, though. See, this is one of the situations where fighting guys would have actually benefited us. Ooh, okay. We managed to get five tools for pretty much free. I'll take that. So this is a little camp here. How far away are we? We're not that far now. Although we cannot last another day's worth. Did those brigands just pass us right by? We cannot last another day's worth of pay, which I'm not sure if we're going to get there in time now. Brigands, fight me! Ah, crap. We're running out of money. Alright, well, this is where we could have bad morale. Because we just failed to pay our men a day. Um, we'll get that money, though, here soon. So it's not that big of a deal, but... It does hurt morale, and if we if we don't pay them another day, then we're going to be more in trouble. Okay, we get our 1100 So we're more wealthy than we... Uh... Okay, it's dawn. Let's go into town. Alright, so they're well supplied, and we've got two contracts here. Let's start off by looking for men. If we have an apprentice, these are always worth picking up, but I'm looking specifically for somebody that would be good at ranged combat, and I'm not seeing anyone. We've got a historian we could bring along for the ride, you know, chronicle our, our, our tales. I almost want to do that just for the roleplay. <laughs> okay, we're entirely out of food, so that's actually a, a pretty big problem, too. Hey, this, this location apparently sells uh, amber. We'll pick up two things of grain. Which will give us three days worth of supplies. No, I know this historian will not be good at combat. The apprentice won't start off great, but we'll get better. Let's try him out. You're paranoid. They get more defense, but you have bad initiative. I actually don't mind that. We'll hire you. We, we could use with another brother. 
Uh, I don't have a lot of equipment for you, and you're not particularly good. Uh, we'll give you that and a spear. And you can just keep your monk's robe, I guess. Although I say that, that's probably not the best idea. Um, you will reacquire your monk's robe. There we go. He has at least some protection. It's not great, but... Oops, did I, re I did that wrong. This was supposed to go there. All right. We did a little bit of shifting there. So yeah, what we're looking for now is just... Uh, how many more men do we need? Three, I think? Yeah, three. So we just need three more range guys is what I'm looking for. All right, let's do these contracts. So this is a travel contract. How many crowns are we talking? 960, because it's probably a lot far away. We need to be paid more. He says no. I'm gonna accept the offer. We're going to Rheinberg. Okay, three days away. I'll say I need some time to think about it. What's this one? Okay, we have a brigand problem. This we want to do. Yeah, Excel, we need food badly. <laughs> we, we, we got a little bit, though. 900? That's pretty good. He doesn't want to pay us some more, though. All right, so we're going to accept this contract. Okay, rundown cottage. We may have already run across that. Ah, it's over there. All right. Let's go get him. Guessing Brigand Raiders for this one. What all was in that town? Tavern, Barber, Harbor. Okay. All right, let's see if we get a little bit of a scouting report here. Okay, we're not... Ah, okay, there we go. So some Brigand uh, Thugs. So the majority is going to be Brigand Thugs. That's actually a good sign. And then we're going to have a few Brigand Raiders. So that's not too bad. Let me pour myself some tea here. While we uh, load this. All right. Okay, one Bergen Raider has a pole arm. That's a little problematic for us. We do have the range advantage, and we do have the numbers advantage. Although, uh, one of our guys we just hired, so he's a little down on experience. Maybe I should have looked for armor in that town. I didn't think about it. We definitely don't want the polar arm guy to be able to get up onto this high ground, and in theory, we'd want to be able to get onto the high ground. Let's see if they could get there. So two, four, six, eight, they'd stop right here. So if we want to, we could get up on this high ground before they could. The polar arm guy could counter that. Well, if he went all the way up here, he could kind of counter that and be able to attack us across, but that wouldn't necessarily give him an advantage. They'd really have to flank us hard to get that going. So. I'm going to hold for now. Okay, so I'm actually being given an opportunity here. We may just end up charging these guys on this turn. So what we're going to do is just hold through. And then we'll we'll respond to them counterattack wise. If they're just gonna charge me. I think we I think we can do some things here. Polearm guys are at a disadvantage if you can get close the distance with them, which is why that's a good idea. And they weren't even be able to, able to get all their numbers in either, so they're, uh... Okay. Let's go ahead and get this guy in here. Now, they may try and swing around here and get the high ground, which they might be able to do. But then we hold, because we want to wait to get the best attack advantage. I'm trying to think how we want to do this. If we were to put a guy here... Hmm. I think we just do three to three there, 
and we focus the rest of our numbers down here. So you go there, you go there, you go there, you go here. That doesn't, that doesn't mean he won't be able to attack this turn, but... That's okay. Let's hold it in case uh, we are able to kill somebody. I'm not going to be able to position this guy, really, so we're just going to hit people. Uh, let's hit this guy, too. There we go. Uh, Alright, so we're going to come down. Let's see if we can knock this guy out. Okay, you... I'd like to get the dog off, too, but it's okay if we don't get it off. So, 3 AP to fire the bolt. This guy should be the easiest to hit. Fortunately, we missed. And move down. Okay, you're going to move here. Stab there. You're going to move here. Chop. Move here. Okay. You're going to move up. Uh, do we go for the shield? Might be a bad idea because this guy might get more damage. But, but screw it. Well, he's not going to lose his shield this turn. Oh, this guy's in danger. So I do need to move him next turn. Okay. Then we'll move up. Oh, no. He's going to go first. Whoops. Oh, thankfully, he moved back. And now that still hurts, though. Well, that sucks. That's a problem with Brigand Raiders. <laughs> they can really hurt you. But who hasn't moved? All right, we're getting a little beat up here. Okay, I want to see what this doggy can do. All right, 54, 56. Let's try and take this guy out. Uh, I meant to chop a shield. Darn. Should have done that one first. Okay. I'm a little concerned with what's going on up here. Hey, Neveroy! And Infernal! <laughs> Assault bias, yeah. Alright, so far so good. Um, I kind of want to hit this guy, but... I don't think I'd be able to kill him. Man, this guy hasn't hit anything. I'll hold. I really don't want to lose another man up here. There you go. Okay, thankfully we didn't lose anybody. Okay, that guy's gonna run. Do we tie this guy up? Because it seems like he's gonna run, and I kind of don't want to let him. I think this guy can handle it. Okay, move up here. Stabby, stabby. It's just end turn. Okay, that guy's d dead. 
Move here. Try and freak this guy out. Get him, doggy. Now, this guy's got one more swing in him up here. Thankfully, he missed. All right, chop him to pieces. So chop him to pieces. <laughs> All right, I think that was the first time our, our um, character... Yeah, believe in the doggo. Dogs have really uh, saved my butt on a number of times. Okay, that guy's dead. Move up. Shoot. This guy has not hit a single shot. Right, let's back him off so he doesn't get chopped down. Alright. Dog might be able to do it. How many days have I gotten into Battle Brothers? Uh, as far as this run or as far as ever? <laughs> I think I have like 250 plus hours in the game. As far as how far I'm in the run, I don't know. I'll, you, you'll be able to see once I... Ever. Yeah. Well, more than 10 days. <laughs> But as far as like, have I have I done the end game stuff? Uh, then I have um, I've done all of the endings, uh, like the the uh, the end events. There's definitely a lot of stuff in this game I have not done. This guy looks really dead. I mean, look at that head. Doesn't look like he has a head left. I don't think this guy's gonna live. Uh, I'm just gonna end turn. Yeah, I haven't gotten to the, anything like that. I've heard of the Black Monolith, but I have not gotten that far. So, if you call that the end game, then no, I haven't done that yet. All right, there we go. He did indeed die. I mean, his brain is gone, pretty much. Ugh. I'm not happy that that happened. I feel like we could have easily gotten through that battle without losing anybody. Uh, who did we lose? Well, let's close our ranks here. We didn't get his armor back either, so that's a bummer. Alright. Go ahead and equip you with that helmet. And you can get your witch hunter. Well, actually, no, the witch hunter hat would be best on you. There we go. Now we can level up. Yeah, I haven't really done the knife game, but I have heard a lot of people, they like to do that uh, style of play. We do have uh, some shields we got from that as well, so let's get you a shield. Shield. Actually, you a shield? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I just like hacking guys to death. I don't want to try and... Uh... Okay, let's see. Well, I think ranged defense makes sense. Initiative makes a lot of sense. I'm going to take the range skill even though it's not a good roll. And then you, my friend, what are we going to get you? For the crossbow, you're only ever going to really attack. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good point, uh, Navalroy. I'm thinking... I mean, fast adaptation is, I think, the, the catch-all. But this guy, I think we're going to keep using a crossbow. So I'm leaning towards Crippling Strikes. I think that's a good combo for a crossbow. Because crossbows have a tendency of getting injuries pretty nicely anyway. Uh, crippling Strike just makes that more so. We'll take that. Alright. Oh, well, we're back to eight men. Unfortunate. As a matter of fact, let's see our death toll so far. We've lost... Four men so far. These two, like, we lost on the... 
first couple days. Uh, in the tough part of this this particular campaign, I'm not surprised we lost either of these guys. And then we had this guy uh, here lost his nose. So he's not a he's not a pretty sight. So technically, we've had five casualties throughout this campaign. This has been a rough campaign, I'd say. I don't know what day it is because my camera's in the way up there. I don't know if you guys saw that. Oh, we get 900 crowns, so we'll be able to get another man here. Anyone interesting uh, that we'd want to get? Let's get rid of that. Oh, we got a, a set of paint. Okay, is there anybody we'd want to hire here? Another apprentice? Wouldn't be a bad pickup. Yeah, let's get another apprentice here, as long as he's not a problem. He's an optimist, that's always a good thing. Let's hire him up. Uh, if I remember correctly, there's a lot of events that can happen with apprentices. Um, especially if you have guys like Brawlers, or I think even the Knight may be able to... Like, I don't know if my character would do that or not. But I think uh, some of your combat roles can teach uh, apprentices. Oh, do we lose our apprentice? No. Or did I not hire him? Confused. Was it the apprentice we lost? Oh, it was the apprentice we lost. So that was the curse of the first mission. Or did I accidentally hire a monk? I accidentally hired a monk. <laughs> yeah, um, backgrounds, yeah, they do matter quite a bit in this game. Uh, I've looked a little bit on the wikis to kind of get a, like a general idea, but... Well, this guy's not particularly good, so we'll give him a spear. I lost the armor that one dude had, so this guy has, like, nothing. Uh, we could give him this. Give him at least something to work with. Our backliners don't necessarily need armor right now. Yeah, I'm not really... I guess I wasn't paying attention. I accidentally hired a monk there. Oh, well. <laughs> he lived! Uh, all right, let's see, uh, marketplace. All right, we could sell this for a profit, so we will. And this is selling for a profit, too. These aren't quite being sold for less than they're worth, so I'm not so sure about that. I think we move on. Let's think about where we want to go. Well, this looks like a natural place to go. Ideally, I want to get more range combatants, so we want to go somewhere that has... Maybe a hunter's cabin? Yeah, right there. So, we'll hit this town, see if there's any contracts, and we'll hit this town and see if we can hire anybody there. I mean, we have a good amount of coin. I'm actually regretting not doing the 2,000 crowns ambition. So, what day are we on? Yeah, I can't make it out. And my camera's in the way, so... You guys will have to tell me. But yeah, generally speaking, combat rolls are the, uh, the better ones, too. Yeah, I don't tend to do that. I don't tend to do a lot of... Ooh, okay, we got a three-skull contract. I'm not sure we're ready for that, but we may have to do it anyway. Anyone worth picking up here? There's a poacher. That is a range combat uh, person. Uh, what kind of bow do you have? Looks like a short bow, but it could be a wonky bow. No, nah, it looks like a short bow. Wonky bows look all like... They look wonky. <laughs> Let's try them out. Is disloyal. I'm not going to hire a disloyal man. I never hire a disloyal man. Alright, let's at least see what it is. Okay. Some brigands. Alright, how many browns are... Uh, blah, blah, blah. How many crowns are we talking about? This is a lot of money. I think this is probably beyond us. Okay, we're on day 18. Thanks. Thanks, Neverroy. He says no to being paid more. All right, I'm going to accept the offer. I'm going to say I need some time to think about it. Or 
1460 is a lot of money. Let's see if there's anything in this town. I know they have uh, ambush trade routes. I should have probably checked the other town. Armor-wise, not really. I'm not sure we're ready for a contract like that. I think we'll lose a lot of men. And yeah, you, you get 1460, and in theory, we'd be able to hire those men back up. But a lot of our men, like the guy we just lost, he was fairly experienced. So that's a that's a big loss. And some of our initial men had really good traits. So the more of them we lose, like it's kind of more and more a bummer. Speaking of which, we handed you this, mostly because I felt like I didn't have a better weapon at the time. But we now have better weapons. So, who's deserving of what weapons? We gave you an axe because you are fairly good combat skill. Let's go ahead and give you this. I'm tempted to give this guy that, actually, because he's got the better combat skill, but... Eventually, I'd like to turn him to be something else. Like, I don't know if we're going to go super sword heavy. But hey, it's what we've got. We're working with what we've got. We could pick up a farmer just to do some amount of, like, more extra men. But this, this contract will still be here. We can go up to another town. Like this one up here and see if we can hire anybody. And then hopefully it will still be there and we can do it. I don't think we're ready for it right now. If I had kept one of my men in that last fight, and we were up to 10 men, I'd think about it. But a couple of our men are just not really well equipped right now. And I think this is the most money we've had in our pocket at any given time. So maybe we can do something with that amount of money. To prepare for that mission. Okay. Well, we've got a local holiday. That's appropriate for today. And rebuilding effort. Well, that's funny. They have they already have wood here. So we could, we could buy the wood and sell it back to them. Although I don't think we'd sell it for a profit. Uh, okay. Let's see what kind of men are here. So we have a poacher with one of these slings. We have a poacher with a bow. Yeah, we have plenty of choices here, so we should try out as many men as we can. I don't know if boyers or poachers are better. I'm going to lean towards poachers being better. So let's start with this guy, because he actually has a, a good weapon here. Try him out. He is Fear of Beasts, and he's a pessimist. That's not really a good sales pitch on his part. Okay, we got another poacher here that's worth trying out. He is a brute and fear of the undead. Still more crap. Well, I'll give this guy a try out. He is eagle-eyed, which is good, and brute, which doesn't really affect us. Hey, Pat! I'm going to take Volmar, even though he doesn't have a good ranged uh, attack, but... Eagle Eyes is pretty good uh, for a ranged combatant, and the Brute's not really going to affect him too much, uh, as it, it does decrease melee skill, but it gives us more damage on a head hit. I don't know if I already see... Yeah, I already said hi to you, Ursi, I think. So we're going to head to this guy. Um, we still have more men to hire, like, for example, this, this, this guy. I mean, he's really expensive, though. But we'll try him out. He is insecure, which means he will never be above confident. Wow, these guys are just all garbage. I might overlook the fear of the undead, because uh, archers are usually not that effective against undead anyway. Oh, I didn't, I didn't check this guy. He has no bad effects. All right, we'll hire him. We're up to 11 men. I mean, we could push that a little further. Okay, well, we did also get armor out of that deal. So you're going to get a shirt. You're going to get a sh leather wrap. Well, it looks nicer to have a shirt.
Well, it's arguable who's better out of the, these two, so we'll just do it like that. Um, Witch Hunter can have this, I guess. Okay, and then we're going to go to the marketplace and we'll sell this. All right. We have one more man that we may be able to hire, and it's really down to do we want to um, take somebody that is got a negative trait just to fill out our squad. And I'm kind of leaning towards doing it. Um, we can afford this guy. This doesn't really affect him. This kind of sucks, but again, archers aren't that effective against undead, and he's not meant to be in the front line anyway, so I'm not sure it really matters. The big problem is ghosts. Ghosts have a, a resolve attack, more or less. They cause you to check morale, and that would really heavily affect him. Now, I'm afraid to pick the other guy up here because of the Afraid of Beasts. I think that's going to play in more, and also, he's also a pessimist, so that hurts him even harder. Uh, he's going to have bad resolve all the time. Uh, I think they have added a couple more jobs, even with this DLC. Um... I don't know 100% where what they are. Yeah, ghosts are are, are, are lovely. Um, yeah, I think we pick him up, but the, the big danger is he'll run away from a ghost. But that's all right. And we've just done our ambition. So I'm happy with that. And we did manage to get some uh, upgraded equipment as well out of the deal. Now, what I want to do out of this is I need to figure out who has my best range skill and give them the bow. Although this guy already kind of leveled him up, so... Oh, okay, you're the best guy. Uh, did my one art... You've leveled up. Alright, we'll just leave this as is. Uh, we do want to grab one of these hoods, though. Let's say this one. Because hoods are better than uh, head scarves, so we'll go ahead and give that to that. Um, let's give you that, because it looks nice and... There we go. Awesome. All right, so we got a bunch of slingers. Not ideal, but we have an archer out of this deal. Oh, he's got a wonky bow. Crap. Now well, it's better than nothing, and it probably does more damage than the sling. It does, but it has a it has a penalty, doesn't it? Yeah. Not necessarily. I'm not sure if this is typical of a bow. Hmm. Um, let's see if we can get rid of that. So, we can't afford that. Um, Fletcher? He's got a, a short bow. I think we should buy the short bow. Or buy a crossbow. We'd have to buy the bolts, though, too. So, I, I think we lean towards the short bow because we already have a quiver of arrows. I don't want to have no wonky bow on my men. That's why that guy was cheap now, I realize. <laughs> there you go. That's a little better. And then we'll go and sell the wonky bow because we don't want it. All right. Ideally, I like to have a couple quiver of arrows, but... Uh, let's just hold off for now. All right, let's see what these contracts are. This is a travel contract. We'll say, what does it pay? Uh, when he paid more, he said no. I'm going to accept the offer, but I say I need some time to think about it. Next contract is another one. Uh, let's talk money. Uh, 710, we need to pay more. He agrees. I accept offer. We'll need blah, blah, blah. Okay, where was this going again? Contract? Yeah, it's going to be going far enough away that we don't... Nah, get, get out of here. <laughs> let's go do the expensive contract. Yay, everybody's happy. Forget that I didn't pay you a while ago. Forget all about that. That didn't happen. Let's go do this contract down here. This is kind of risky, This doing this contract, but... I think with a whole full 12 men here... We have a shot at it. All right. All right, let's get going. I want to get there before nightfall. <laughs> we 
We now pay them 112, so we do not have a lot of money on hand. We probably also don't have a lot of food on hand. We're going to run out of food soon. Hopefully we get some money and food here, and then we can buy some food in here. Because there is a, an orchard. Maybe that'll give us some food to work with. All right. Finger cross time. Hopefully we don't have to break out any squirrels. Okay, so they do have some archers, and in my opinion, they have the range advantage. Uh, we have the numbers advantage, but they definitely have the range advantage, so they're probably going to hang back. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so they have quite a few archers here. Let's hold. 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 I can't believe that just happened. That guy just got one shot. Hey, Leo. Your timing is great. We're a little down right now. There used to be a man right here. Man, this has been a rough campaign. And of course, you don't hit this guy. <sighs> I'm a little salty after that one, I must admit. Well, we're going to slow roll this one. Yeah, they're definitely hanging back. No, they're not hanging back. Interesting. Well, let's go ahead and put these trees down so we can see what we're doing. I can't let that... I can't let them get away with that. So... Ah! That's bad. <laughs> How did he do that? He went all the way around that way. How expensive were the guy that died? I mean, he was probably decently high level. I don't have all my men uh, memorized, to be perfectly honest with you. But he was definitely one of our better men. As he had one of our better uh, set of equipment. So, yeah, I'm not happy about what just happened there. I'm going to come to try and support here. We, maybe we can knock that guy off the, the high ground, but I feel like he's going to beat us to initiative. Two, four, six, eight. Can't quite get to that guy. I have plans for this guy. Maybe we can make that work for us. We're gonna do, what are we going to do with this guy? Two, four, six, eight. Hang here. Yeah, I guess that's a plan. Yeah, I'm going to release hounds on him. Hopefully the hounds uh, do what I want them to. Who's gonna hail Mary it? See if we can hit one of these archers. Uh, I gotta come in behind my men, otherwise I'll get sniped.
I'm trying to force the dog to go where I want it to. There we go. Awesome. I hope that guy dies because he's a bastard. Um... <laughs> Kill him! Ouchie. I, I thought we would beat him to initiative. What the hell? I guess not. Alright, uh, my plan here is to knock this guy off the hill. My plan here is to knock this guy off the hill. We're not going to be able to, though. He's just going to get back up. F. Oh, we hit a very unlikely shot. Yeah, the the hound has been doing good work here. Um, this guy's not really in the best spot to hit anything. Um, so we'll just hail Mary's shot here. Come on, you can do it. Hey, we hit somebody. All right. I have my chance so low to hit you. I mean, I guess you're not that good, because you're level 1. Um, let's just keep firing here. We really need to get our archers leveled up so they can be a little bit more effective for us. Hopefully we can kill this guy with the axe. Yeah, that's not good. Alright. Hail Mary shot. Okay. I'm going to try and help the dog here. Okay, we're getting a little outnumbered in the north. Ah! No, I almost had him. Murder. Guess I'll start moving to get into a better position here. I don't have a better shot, so we're going to just take that one. Right, we want this guy to go down. We can make it happen. There we go. That frees up a lot of our men now. Fortunately, our knight is not freed up. Okay. Let's see if we can... Uh, I'm going to move up a... Uh, let's move up a tiny bit. Go after this guy. Specifically going after their archers to try and... Wow, that was a good hit. Okay, knock you back. Knock you back. We're going to keep trying to do that until we get it. Unfortunately, the chance to do so is a little crap. I'm going to knock him back to knock free his uh, defensive stuff. That turns off the shield wall and all that. Bastard. Alright, we got one more chance to do this. F. I'm gonna move here so we can line these guys up. Maybe for next turn if they don't move. Okay. Um, go after the guys we can hit. And I think this was another one of our, our better guys. No, maybe not. I don't know. It's it's getting confusing now. Who's even alive anymore? Ouch. I 
Interesting. I mean, that was a good choice. Are you, are you sure you guys want to be named after people in the uh, <laughs> people in my company? Right now, the death rate is not very good. Or I should say the uh, being alive rate. Okay, well, thankfully, uh, finally, my character came in and, and did what was needed. Son of a bitch. Thank you. Ah! All right, we're just chopping away at this guy. You know, I, I don't think I gave daggers to some of my men, so some of these guys may be unarmed here. Okay, whoever is the better chance to hit is who we're going to attack. Do you have a knife? You don't. Sucks to be me. We're going to have to hold. Um, I don't think this guy's hit a single shot. I mean, my archers are just really crap right now. I've got a couple that are level up, but we just bought a bunch of them. We're supposed to go after the dog. Oh my gosh, this has been terrible. This is almost a stack wipe. All right, we're gonna try one more time to not... It just keeps getting harder and harder to do so. Thank you. That was my higher level archer too. I'm almost thinking about going something like this. Hey, what's that over there? <laughs> oh, we're doing another squirrel here. Jeez. We can't lose every member of the squad. That's I'm sorry, but I have to take a I have to take a mulligan on that one. Especially as we had one of our best men get sniped on the first round. Yeah, it is hard. Yeah, definitely. And uh Hey, ready? Okay, so they're going to hang back again. The big problem is these guys. These guys are tearing us apart a little bit. Um, archers in this game are extremely dangerous. Especially guys with crossbows. I hate guys with crossbows because they can always wreck your guys. Even if they don't kill you in one hit, they oftentimes can give, uh, give your men crippling injuries. And if that kind of stuff happens on turn one, it screws you so hard. Thankfully, he didn't have enough action points, perhaps. See, right there, this guy hasn't even gone yet. And he's already below half health and has a uh, injury. So this is where, like, like this game can be so problematic. Um, we're going to slow roll this at first. I think we just have this guy leave. Like, really, I, I hate doing it, but... Yeah, it's the early game that's hard. We're still in that early game stage, which is the problem. Like, a lot of our guys are still level 1. Yeah, so they did what they did last time. So we're going to try and take advantage of that. Uh, I am only going to move this far forward, though, because I expect this guy will move up, and we do want to, you know, do what we can. Obviously, having these archers be up on the high ground is not ideal. 
Um, but I'm not sure there's a whole lot we can do about it. I'm going to start attacking this guy's shield. You're going to come forward. I'm tempted to have my knight charge here. If they try and wrap him up, they wrap him up. But if I can get in here and get these guys locked down, that's two of their archers taken care of. Now, they'll beat me initiative-wise because they're lightly armored. Um, but I, I can't let them fire away like this too many more turns because you saw... Whoops. I didn't realize that guy was there. All right, never mind on that strategy. And as a result, we have to put our men in a position where they're protected as much as possible. So I'm going to have this guy go here. And we're going to have a lot easier time hitting their archers, even though, like, my guys really suck. They're not good. Um, we are going to fire here, though, because we really need to try and take that guy out. Okay. We can get to here. And then I'll... Yeah, we'll fire here. I'm going to want that dog out, but I'm going to save it. Hey, we hit something that time. This guy may be out in the open, but so far they're not hitting me. Ouchie. Oh, that did almost nothing to my armor, so... Okay. See, this guy has such good initiative. He's going to beat me to initiative here. Now, this guy has uh, adaptation. So he's going to get... Every time he misses, he gets a bonus to attack the next time. Now, some of these other guys don't have that, so we need to get those kind of abilities. Otherwise, we're just going to keep doing that, like, missing horrendously. We need to chop this guy down as quickly as possible so he can't... Because he's got area, he's got a 200 weapon, which a lot of 200 weapons give you area effect attacks. Which you obviously don't want to be hit with. So we're doing our best to try and chop him down quick. Now what that guy did... Oh my gosh, this crossbow is just wrecking me. Um, now what that guy just did is he did a bunch of defensive stuff. So what we're going to do to try and uh, combat what uh, these guys are doing, it's going to be very tough for me to get the dog where I want it to go. It might just come right here. So... I'm tempted to just set it here and just see where it goes. I mean... We need this dog to help. Thank you. Well, it depends. It depends on the... Yeah, you're right. It depends on the situation. But also, they have very high damage output. So even if they attack a single guy, it, it's, it can be really dangerous. Uh, now, one way you can break uh, defense like that is you shield bash. If you're successful with it, which we weren't, uh, it can work for you. I'm really not sure what to do here. If we attack this guy, we have almost no chance of hitting him. But we don't have really a target on anybody else. So... Sure. Alright, hack him down. Yeah, he's dead. Um, this guy hasn't... Oh, this guy's gone. Darn. Otherwise, I'd charge ahead. But I think we have to, like, put at least a couple guys on this guy to try and challenge him. I'm 
gonna start flanking with this guy. We may be able to get him to do something to help us. We're just gonna be a shield wall. I don't think is gonna help me. Yeah, I know. Uh, Infernal. We just we just bought like these guys, so I didn't have time or money to be able to upgrade them. Yeah. So he's still got his defense up. And if my chance to attack is not great. I was kind of hoping to break him with that bash. It looks like they've really reduced the chance of bashes happening. Wow. I'm just going to go after a shield. Yeah, maybe we can get thing out of this. If we can uh, kill these archers. Well, I hate not doing anything. I forgot he can counterattack. Well, that was smart. Fortunately, the dog fit. Man, we're getting... We're getting great luck here. I kind of wish I hadn't doubled back with that guy now. I mean, he was level one, so it's not the end of the world. Yes, this is the 1400 mission, so if we complete it, hopefully we'll be in a better spot. I'm going to hold. Oh, it's easier to hit this guy than it is anyone else. Two, four, six, eight. We can get in there. I didn't realize they hadn't gone yet. I'm going to hold for a second. Good hit. Good, we hit him. Ooh, okay, he ran away from us. Okay, tie them up. <sighs> yeah, screw you. So we just lost both our level one guys. I mean, that's not as bad. I probably should have taken the shield out of his hands. Okay, so I'm going to kind of like approach this from a odd angle here, but we want to tie up as many men as we can. Okay, all their archers are tied up. Oh, screw you! Oh, hey, Bookworm, thanks for the sub. We are getting absolutely terrible luck here. Um, let's move up, try and take one of these guys out. There we go. I mean, we're turning it around, but holy crap. This guy is exhausted, so we can go at him. Honestly, maybe waiting would have been a good idea. Um, move here. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, there we go. Um, I guess we can move up. 
five, five. We have a we have a straight shot here. Hey, we hit him. I'm gonna move to here. Come on, doggy, you can do it. Ah, screw you! Oh, no! Hold. Die! Thank you. I'm I'm not happy right now with what what's going on here. Old arrows, arrows. Oh come on! I'm tempted to try and kill this guy. Thank you. <sighs> this guy's gonna get a shot off. Well, not after that, maybe. It just. I'm not really sure what to do here. Go here, split. We cannot hit anyone that we are aiming at, unfortunately. Ah! <laughs> God! Yeah, I need new archers. They suck. I, I... This is going really badly. Hey, we hit something we weren't even aiming at. That's always a good day. Oh, we're too tired. Damn. Yeah, now we're getting exhausted. Okay, split shield. That guy probably will die. This is going really badly, guys.
Okay, that's, uh, that's a start. I'm too tired to do anything. Like, I think... <sighs> Good, we did something. I mean, we just lost our entire front line. That's that's kind of why I'm upset here. I'm not close enough to do anything. Die! And we lost our dog. This has just not been good. <laughs> We're gonna get through it though. I really should not have taken this contract. This was a colossal mistake. We're not gonna be able to catch up to this guy. And of course they all died. Of course they did. Because in this game, you don't ever have people get injuries, they just die. Alright, well, whatever. We did get good armor, I guess. I hated every second of that. <laughs> Three men dead, right there. Now, two of them are level one. So that wasn't a huge deal. But this starts to get into the realm of, did I make a profit in this mission? And I don't know if I did. Yeah, I know. It's the hardest start I chose. And we're not even that far in the campaign. Look at the death count. This is, this is not good. This is actually almost as bad as the peasant run, and that I expected to have a lot of deaths. Alright. I mean, you get bad run, runs of luck like this in this game. Um, it happens. So... You just do your best and you move on from it. This guy, we can't really tell what his situation is right now, but we should probably get him a better head covering here. All right, well, let's do our level ups. Sadly, we did lose one of our better men and one of our better sets of armor. Did we only lose three men? I had 12 men. I guess we lost more than three men, huh? Okay. Well, in any case, let's do our level ups. Okay, plus three there, plus three there, plus three there. I like that. Well, hold on. Where was it my other rolls? I got a plus four here. I, I really got to take these when they're plus threes. I know there's a plus four, and that's really awesome, but these don't happen to be plus threes very often. Then we're going to go recover because this guy's a frontliner for sure. Okay, next. You're one of my higher level guys. I think this guy was my next highest level guy. As a matter of fact, we can look at the death thing. So this guy here was with us 17 days. So we're like on what, day 19 or something? So yeah, he was one of our more experienced men. So losing him was a big deal. Uh, okay, let's go back over here. Okay, we'll roll the plus three there. I'm going to take the plus four. Uh, we'll take the plus three on Resolve because Resolve's kind of bad. And I think that did play a factor in that mission. He almost ran away. 
Let's take the plus three in defense. Not getting hit is a big part of this game. As much as that plus four in the fatigue is a, is is nice. All right, let's go ahead and go with the shield expert too. We want these guys to survive. Okay, you're our other good guy here. Okay, plus three, plus three. Again, resolve I think would be a good one for us, so we'll take that. We're gonna have to get that sooner or later. And then we're going to take Shield Expert again, although Brawny is tempting because we're a little over this, but that's all right. Then you leveled up. You're one of my high-level dudes. We really need these guys to level up so we can get them better abilities. Okay. Um, you have Crippling Strikes. Well, definitely you're taking the plus four because we need you to be able to hit things. I think plus three on hit points kind of makes a certain amount of sense. Plus five. Because his hit points aren't that high. All right, I am thinking about... What? Maybe Bullseye? Take that. Okay, we really cannot afford to get in another fight anytime soon. So this is going to be a long recovery process. But hey, it gives us time to get more men. Okay. So what's going on here? So somebody's on the on his back. Brother, brother's litter the battleground. They're ill-shaped, ragged, uh, fractured, and fragmented, and soon fra uh, fermented. Uh, okay. So there's flies. Ah. Let's honor the dead. We have to pay 60 crowns to do so. Okay. We lost a lot of men on that battle. Oh, no, we do have nine men. Why did it say eight over here? Oh, because one's out of formation. Duh. That was a tough one. I mean, in theory, we probably made a profit on that one, but it's hard to say. Considering the armor and equipment we lost. Speaking of which, we should take a look at the equipment that we have. What did we get out of that? All right. I mean, the flail can be good from a damage standpoint. It does more damage than the axe we currently have. We lose a lot of the utility of the axe, but this is kind of not the best weapon for us. We could go cleaver. That also would have better damage output. And it gives you some utility because you can chop things heads off. Ooh, a boar spear. Not sure I really want to rock a spear. I think I'm gonna go with the flail for now, and then we'll uh, we'll see what our what our situation is. Oh, also, we need to make sure our archers have backup weapons. We didn't do that, and uh, it kind of was a mistake. Oops, what am I doing? What I meant to do, actually. Who has the better attack value? You kind of do. Then knife. You have a knife. Okay, so everybody else is fine. Just there was that one, one or two guys. Ah. Yeah, that's why I don't take thieves, because, uh, I mean, they're technically criminals, so... Events like that can crop up. Okay. Let's go get our money. Alright, so I'm going to camp here. Till dawn. All right. Let's top off tea. <laughs> okay, what do we want here? Well, first off, we have to replace three men that are just dead. 
Well, I had the same thing happen to me. Uh, well, not with the thief, but... In the early going with the lone wolf, like, the first couple guys I hired died. Or the first guy I hired, I think it was, died. Because, more or less, he needed to hold the line so that <laughs> my hedge knight didn't get surrounded. And that was pretty much all he did, and then he got hacked to pieces. Uh, let's see. Very did him. I might hire this guy, but I don't really want the pitchfork. These guys can sometimes be alright. Let's try them out. Alright, you're hired. Uh, just don't mind all of the uh, dead bodies or the, <laughs> the missing spots on our line. Okay, you got good fatigue. Your combat skill is not too bad. I'll give you the boar spear nonetheless, though. Because this guy's injury, we don't really know where he's at with armor, but let's just give this guy the best we have. And we'd like to equip his head a little bit better, as a matter of fact. There we go. We can sell sackcloth. That's kind of garbage. We don't want to keep that around. Uh, sell the salt. Sell that. Let's sort. Anything we don't want to keep around? Uh, we'll sell that. We'll sell that. Probably should get some more food. We'll buy a couple of loaves of bread. We're really low on tools, but tools do not sell well here. So we'll probably have to move on. What's in the marketplace as far as armor goes? Not really anything. Alright, let's move on. Let's come back up here because we had contracts that we could do that in, in theory might be able to avoid fighting. Okay, 2,000 crowns. That wouldn't be too hard for us to do. Let's do the 2,000 crowns because we're not that far away from it. Not that long ago we actually had that amount. We're probably spending a fair amount here, though, because we have to recover men. There was a woodcutter in here. I might want to pick him up. But again, we have the contracts. Where would we want to go if we want tools? There's a workshop down here. Gem mine, that's not really going to do anything for us. What we want is iron mines, which there are not any of down there. Looks like the south isn't really going to be our answer. What's on over here? Copper mine? No, oh, thanks for the, uh, the follow. I'm going to call you Rat, just for simplicity's sake. Fortunately, I think all the iron mines are up north. Okay. Alright, well, let's let's go in here and, and do these things. Alright, first thing first. Oh, no, they have missing dudes. So prices are not as good. But I don't think we can really afford not to buy it, so... It's better price here than it was in the other town. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at hiring men. So I think the woodcutter, the lumberjack here, would be a good one to pick up. We've got a couple of them. So let's try this guy out. Oh, wow. He's expensive. Why is he so expensive? Because of his equipment? Let's try him out first. He is dumb and has a death wish. Death wish is actually good. Dumb is bad. But we have more than one monk. Or we had one more than one monk. I believe monks can actually uh, teach them to stop being dumb. So that's possibly we can get through that one. Let's see what this guy's all about. Okay. Uh, we'll pick this guy up. Again, he's got one good trait, one bad one, but the bad one is, uh, circumventable, so. Alright. We have a guy that has, like, good extra 
fatigue? Not really. Because of Space Hamster? <laughs> I think it's because of the axe he was holding, but I'm not sure about that. There was a possibility he was greedy, but that didn't turn out to be the case. Okay, we do have things that I might want to get rid of. What would we rather have, the Goten Dog or the Woodcutter's Axe? Well, we can definitely get rid of this. That's a crap weapon. Not really that big of a fan of the Bludgeons either. They don't have very good damage. Yeah, you've got a utility with one of those, but... And again, if I'm going to go with two-handed weapons, I think I'm going to go Goten Dog over this, so we'll sell that as well. Alrighty. Well, um, looks like we lost one of the contracts. This is the one that is... We'll get 210 crown, uh, crowns in advance. We're going to Rheinberg, which is in the northwest. We want to kind of go in the north anyway, so we can get some tools, maybe. So I will accept this contract. And away we go. And thankfully, we won't be using food while we're along the, the path. These travel missions will give us cash while we wait to recover from some of these injuries. So that's good. And we only need one more man to be back up to our max anyway, so... Again, we're starting off at level 1, which is unfortunate, but... Maybe we can save up and get somebody a little bit better, but as we've seen... Oh! Brigands, but they don't want to have anything to do with us. Kind of glad for that. A lot of fighting in this area. I'll have to keep that in mind. Both times we've been through here, there's been, there's been a lot of stuff. It's kind of on the edge of known... Uh, of the known map, so I guess that makes sense. But yeah, this road... Oh, here we go. Um, I kind of wish we had been able to... Prepare for that fight. We will engage. My favorite, Barbarians! Oh, we do have the range advantage. So they should come to me. Oh, we had the range advantage until they started pulling out a bunch of javelins. I'm probably going to end up charging these guys to try and stop them from doing the javelin -y type stuff. Although they tend to have quick hands, which I'm not a big fan of, that the fact that they have that. Or we can just kill them right now. Wow, they have a lot of throwing weapons. I'm going to hold. Trying to take the guys out that have the throwing weapons. Okay, so let's think about our, our battle plan here. You go there. You go there. You go here. You run down this way. Tie those guys up. Knight ties up the guy in the middle. Yeah, they are pretty powerful. That's kind of why we went away from the north, because they were giving us a hard time. We could do what we did last time and fall back to the caravan, but I, I have a feeling they're just going to pepper me with throwing axes and stuff, which I really don't want them to be able to do. Um, so, we're going to come up here. I'm going to hold. Wait. Oh, I didn't give this guy... Oh, I didn't give this guy a shield. Damn. That's a big mistake. Okay, we're going to come here. Hold. Gonna move here. We've got as much of a bonus as we're gonna get here. They're also outnumbering me pretty badly. I 
I feel like I should come up here, but then this guy's just gonna run wild on me. My goal here is to try and take this guy out. I have a pretty realistic chance of doing that. This guy's dead. Let's just face facts, he's dead. Let's back up with our archers where possible. Alright. Flash. That sucks. Okay. I'm trying to knock this guy out before he gets a chance to go. Oh, come on! He's right there! Thankfully. Oh, you did something. Or dying. Okay, we're gonna come here to try and hold this guy. We can't get away with that. Our knight is unfortunately in a spot. He had a 74% chance to hit. We really need this knight guy not to die, please. Thank you. I just like this guy not to die, but he's gonna... I, I hate you, game. <laughs> this run has been nothing but trouble. Okay, we got out of that. I don't know who has a bandage. I honestly forget. Let's just go that. Oh, now you guys are going to get involved. Oh, or you're not. Uh, you, okay, you stunned that dude. Yeah. We only just have to tap this guy, like... <laughs> Let's move here and sling at this guy. Got a little greedy there, because it was a pretty good chance to hit. Okay, we're backing off, because I don't want to get hit anymore with those axes. Hey, okay, die! Well, we had a good chance of killing him. Thanks, Caravan Hands. You're doing a lovely job of helping me. Interesting move, because he just gave me a, a shot at killing. All we have to do is hit him once. Okay, that guy's running. 
move here and throw our slings down here. Okay. You haven't gone yet. Let's see if we can stab him to death. Okay, we got out of it with only one casualty. I'll take it. Even though I'm not thrilled with it. Oh, okay, thanks. Now you're getting involved, asshat. Other guy's dead. And we don't get his armor back. Ooh. That was my fault. I didn't give him a shield. I forgot. Well, in a grand scheme of things, we made profit on that, so... Okay. So, you are 50. You are also 50, but you're more fatiguing, so it doesn't really make sense. Um, screw it. Okay, I know what I'm going to be taking for this level up, but first, take your... Uh, I'm taking the uh, resolve because it's kind of bad. And then you are going to take... Also, oh, you already had a HUD covering. Okay, you're also going to take... No surprise to anybody, fast adaptation. Something that really would have helped us earlier. Okay, plus four, yes. Initiative, yes. Resolve, yes. Excellent. Then you're going to take Fast Adaptation. Okay, next. Uh, we're going to plus four, yes. Plus four, yes. Plus five, yay. And Fast Adaptation. Now when my guys miss, uh... They'll get better and better, which is nice. Plus four. Uh, I'll take the plus three, I guess. And the plus five. This guy's got really good resolve, so I'm actually tempted to give him the Rally the Troops ability, because I don't know what else to take. I mean, there are abilities here we could take, like rotation and what have you. Does anybody have a bandage in my squad? Or did we already use it? Ah, okay, so I need a bandage. I think I'm going to do Rally Troops because I really don't want to waste it on my character. And then we'll just put this guy in the middle. And then if we ever need the morale, he, he's also got like the second best morale. So what about Barani? These guys are backliners, so I normally wouldn't do that. Yeah, if they're frontliners, sure I would, but. Oh, do we have the best armor up front? As far as I know, we do. Oh, actually, we don't have control. Okay, Goat's Content. Uh, so it's a fortune teller, huh? I'm going to say no, we're good. Because I don't want it to be a bad fortune. We've already had bad luck. Uh, also, I don't have to pay the lady because we are not good financially right now. So, sorry, lady. Maybe next time. Where are we ultimately going? Oh, all the way over here. Okay. Well, there are uh, places to get more uh, affordable tools here. And Reinberg, I think, likes me. At least they used to. And we can go up here and get our dog back. So, I'm happy with the situation. Oh, good, we got more barbarians in the area. How are we doing on our injuries? Okay, everybody's recovered. So the question was, how is this guy... As far as what kind of armor he can have. Uh, or maybe he has a better shield. Like that. Yeah. Okay.
We also got better throwing weapons now, so I can get rid of the uh, the crude javelin. Because the throwing axes are definitely better. Okay, the brigands look like they're just running away from the militia, so they're not going to fight me. Unfortunately, I can't get involved in that fight because I don't have control. Okay, real quick. Um, let's go into town. Oh, no, it's not this town that likes me. It's this one down here. Well, that's all right. This one kind of likes me. So they're well supplied. There's a two-skull contract. Might as well see what it is just to see where we're going. Okay. So it's a uh, Thieves of Stole Something mission. We want more. Okay. I'll accept the offer and I'll say I'll need some time to think about it. We're probably going to do that one, though. Okay, first things first. We absolutely need tools. Thankfully, they're being sold for cheap here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and pick up these copper ingots because they're being sold at a pretty good discount. Um, food. We're all right, although it'll probably all spoil on me in the next day. We want to look at how many men there are, any men that we might be able to hire. Ah, uh, the retired soldier's tempting, although there's a lot of problems with retired soldiers. Militia guy, that's the caravan hand I mean. That's probably a good one, because they usually have some combat skills. Okay, he's strong. That's actually a really good one. We'll pick him up. All right. You, my friend, your job is to not die, please. So you're going to get a shield. Uh, you're going to get better armor. You're going to get... A head covering of some kind. We're always going to go into the shop here. And we're going to sell off all of the barbarian crap. Uh, any more barbarian crap? Well, there's this I wanted to sell. We probably have way more she uh, spears than we need. So I'll get rid of some of the more beat up ones. Yeah. Retired soldiers never get old because that's their because they're already old. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, oh also we should probably upgrade the protection of one of our dudes back here probably you because you're a higher level guy okay We'll take this contract. I don't think it's going to be too tough for us to do. And we're definitely in a better spot now. And we need the money because I just spent a bunch of money. We now 108 crowns. Okay, that's less than we once were paying guys, but... Okay, so we just need to follow these tracks. Yeah. That's why the tools are so cheap here. Because there's an iron mine here. That always is going to help you on that. And the mines are all up in the north. Okay, any time we can uh, spend gives this guy a little bit more time to repair his stuff. Okay, what did we got here? I don't really want to fight archers if I can avoid it, but... If we fight them at the night time, that actually is going to advantage us. I mean, I know we have a lot of ranged guys, but they'll have a lot harder time hitting us. Although they're outrunning me pretty well here. Uh, hey, if a patrol kills them, that'd be nice. Oh, we lost them. Eric's. Yeah, I'm going to do this night fight thing. Maybe not the wisest move, but... Depending on how many archers they have, it'll make it tougher on them. Hello there. I'm alright with moving up, because they won't be able to get in here anyway. And it, uh, it kind of preloads the bonus that we would have for getting more, more men on them. Yeah, we could like really surround this guy. So let's let's do our tally here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's one guy we don't know about. All right, that's gonna be this guy. Okay. 
You two are going down there. Uh, I might just do a one-on-one -on -one fight here. I think uh, my knight can handle a thug. So I'm going to have you come up this way. We're not going to get any better bonus than we already have. Go ahead and attack. And then... Sure. Okay, you're going to come down here. Hold. Okay. That's nice. Get that kill immediately. We'll do what we can here, but our accuracy is not going to be great at night. Ideally, we'd want to be here rather than here, because here this this guy can come around and, and get us, so I may just have to stay where I am. And sling stones like this. Not ideal, but hey, we hit somebody. Um, let's move over here. This guy's going to be the easier of the two to hit. Theory. Okay, you're going to move here. You're going to slash this guy. So you're going to slash him. Let's try and get the stun off. Work. Okay, good first round. All right. Twenty-three, twenty-six. This is the better one to hit. See now, you see how that's ramping up. It's getting us a better chance to hit every time. If he had stunned me, that would have been bad. Now this guy is the only one that doesn't have that ability, so it's not going to work that way for us. Oh. Okay, that guy's going defensive, so we're probably going to ignore him. Although I can. Do this. Try and hit him with the sling stones. Okay, so this guy's got his defense up. So we'll go after that guy instead. That's dead. Move in. Just go for a straight blow here. Excellent. And chop him down. It will move up this way. It's nice to be fighting thugs for once. Let's go after this archer. Because I think the chance to hit is higher. Because that guy has shield wall up. Alright. I think we've taken out all the brigand raiders. So it's just poachers and... Uh, and thugs, so this shouldn't be too hard. Okay, guys are fleeing. Um, let's step in here and go for that attack. Let's step up here. Stabu. Okay, move up. Challenge that guy. Move in. Attack. Up. It's fun when you can just mow them down. Oh, okay, that, that had a pretty good chance to hit, but uh, fortunately we failed. I'm just going to end turn. Some of these guys are really not going to be able to get into the action. Ouchie. Up. 
Let's hold because this guy can leapfrog me. Leapfrog. Dab. Smack. Smack. And the finisher. Yeah, fun when it's a steamroll like this. I mean... Thugs are always fun to fight. I, I like beating them up on them. Okay, let's get our equipment. Alright, let's head back to town. Unfortunately, this is not really going to pay us all that well. Yeah, necromancer fights are the worst. When you have a very a ton of zombies. Well, they're not the worst. Honestly, I still have a prejudice against goblins. In particular, goblin wolf riders and goblin... What are they called? Uh, ambushers? It's skirmishers is their, like, front line, and I think ambushers are their archers. Oh, we got unhold attacks, huh? Sell both of those. Let's sort this on up. We've got so many of these bucklers, I'm going to start selling them. We do have short bows now. Probably should have already equipped those, actually, honestly. I don't have enough quiver of arrows to do anything with it, though. So the guys that have the best uh, ranged ability are going to get the bows. And the ones that don't, don't. You're going to get that. You're going to get that. All right. It's a start. And then we have a short bow in reserve. If we can get... Might even sell those, but I'll hang on to them for now. We definitely want to sell this. We got another set of copper ingots, but because of the unhold uh, attacks, they're not being sold for less than they're worth, so we're going to have to pass on those. I'm going to go ahead and sell this short sword. We should take a look at my men. Like, this guy, for example, came in with a weapon he probably shouldn't have been having in his, in his hands. Um, this guy leveled up, which is excellent. Plus three I'll take. Uh, plus four on his resolve, for sure. And then I'll take the, uh, the fatigue. Okay, anything we want to do with this guy uh, as far as his weapon? Probably not. He's fine. Um, this guy. 53. I think we give him a sword of some type. Short sword would probably be pretty decent. Matter of fact, I think my men got like all moved around here. Let's put this guy on the flank. Okay, and speaking of that guy, uh, I forgot to give him a perk. Which is going to be fast adaptation. Okay. We definitely need to pick up bandages. And these are cheap, so I'll pick those up. Uh, and then I'll put them on uh, this guy. And... This guy. Okay. Looking good. We're getting there. So, we've got this unhold mission. I'm not going to do that. Unholds are a handful. More of a handful than I want to deal with right now. Let's come up here and hopefully we can sell those copper ingots for a good price. Then we'll be alright financially. We have to keep in mind that I'm so tight on money because of the copper ingots I just bought. Uh, and if we can get those a good price, we'll get another 600 plus in the bank account. Alright, let's go to the marketplace and see what it sells for. Yeah, there you go. Good profit. Uh, food's running a little low, so we'll pick up a couple things of that. Might want to pick up some armor here, too. There is an armor as well. Let's go to the kennel first. Alright. I think I'm going to buy two of these guys. So we've got Bitter. 
Stormtail and Spirit. Let's do Stormtail and Spirit here. And you have now inherited... Actually, let's do it on the flanks. That makes, I think, the most sense. Okay. So we don't have a ton of cash here. Bunch of wild men. I don't know how good wild men are. They seem to be very expensive and have a high uptake. Uh, what do we got? Wild men are used to the hard life of the wild, where only the strong prevail. They are less used to the life of cities where the astute and deceitful rule. Let's see what a wild man's like. I've never hired one before. He's fear of the undead. Oh, now we can't afford him because I tried him out. Whoops. Uh, if that's the case, then that means I can't really afford to pay the men very much. Maybe we'll take a contract and come back. Is it going to be killing the unholds? No. Wild men are pretty neat. All right, cool. I mean, he did have a negative trait, so... Uh, necessarily, we don't have, like, a strong reason to get him, but I probably will pick one up. I don't know. I think they last a, a quite a... I, I've had one be there for a long time before, so... We'll see. Although various events on that castle may affect... Ah, good... good low defense is good melee and uh, fatigue. Alright. Well, I like I like melee. If we want to get crazy with him, we could give him that Godin dog and tell him to whack away at guys. How long he'll live, we'll see, but I'm going to come down here and see what we've got going here. We have to build our finances back up. Ooh, a public execution. Uh, Okay. Food and drink are abundant during such an occasion, but merchants may also try to adva take advantage of spectators, so prices may not be at the best while the executions are going on. Okay. Now let's see what the one skull contract is. Alright, so this is a travel contract. Not a far one. Pretty cheap. Um, we're going to say we need to be paid more. He says no. Uh, so we're just going to where? Rheinberg. Rheinberg is just the next town over. So I'm going to say I need some time to think about it because we want to see what the two-skull contract is. Okay. What is he asking? Okay, brigands. All right. Let's talk pay. He may have paid more. This isn't too bad. I don't think it will be too any anything too risky. I'll accept your offer. We'll do this one, then we'll do the travel contract. It should still be there. We've got a little bit of money up front, too. Um, anybody we want to pick up? Well, there's a bastard, but he's uh, he's he's expensive, so we, we got a... Ooh, a cultist! I think Leo wanted us to get a cultist. Cultists have a resolve to uh, spread further their cult. For the second, uh, second of you. We got a couple cultists. This guy's kind of expensive, though. Do we pick up a cultist because he's cheap? I mean, it fills the ranks out. You're hired. He had a really good resume, what can I say? Uh, I'm not going to give you a lot of protection, my friend, because I don't have a lot of protection to spare. And you are going to be equipping yourself with a spear, because you are not that great of a combatant. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I'm really thrilled with you, but... Well, you may not be able to live past the uh, the curse of the first mission anyway, so 
Good luck to you, my friend. So we follow the tracks. Any injuries or anything we have to worry about? Nah. Okay. Oh, this is specific to us. All right. You come across an old woman outside of a home of a nobleman. She sizes you up as though she were looking into her own past. Amused, you ask her what it is she wants. The lady smiles. What is it you think you're doing exactly? Wandering the land as a hedge knight, killing and slaying and farking the ladies now and again? Politely, you inform her that you are in fact not just some tournament hopper, but a bona fide soul sword. She shrugs and throws her hand to a nobleman's house. And what of it? They'll never accept you. You'll be a fighter? You're out here forever. You only go inside when they let you. This is not a world that you can improve yourself in. You are what you are uh, you are born as. Well, all right. Thanks, lady. What a bummer. What a downer. We're the uncrowned here. We're, we're trying to become a nobleman. Through blood and sacrifice. Never going to happen. She's right. But we can dream. And who is she to crush our... our our dreams and hopes. All right, looks like they're going down to the south here. All right, what do we got? Just a bunch of brigand raiders. Well, we have the range advantage and the numbers advantage, but they're going to have uh, this fight in the woods, it looks like. Hopefully we can get to them before nightfall, because otherwise our... Um, Otherwise, our numbers won't mean much. Or our ranged combat won't mean much. Let's uh, go like that so these trees and stuff aren't in the way so we can see. So they're going to have to eek through... The... This kind of hurts us because from a range standpoint, we really can't do a whole lot. So I may even back up a little bit. To give the enemy more room here. This is the danger of ever going into a forest, is the train can really play against you. Can we hit these guys? We'll hold, but I don't think we're going to get a much better shot. Have this guy move back like this. So most of the groups down here. I mean, this would definitely be an armor upgrade if we can do it. Two, four, six. Um, they beat me to initiative last time, so I figure they might do so again. Uh, you know, maybe I should have brought this guy here because uh, we've got a nice cutoff here. Oh, we could do that next turn. All right. Good. He hits we get now. Make me pretty happy. Let's fire here. Excellent. Don't have a shot here. Which is fine. Alright. Let's wait for them. Now they're holding because of the spear wall. 
That's pretty natural AI behavior. Yeah, but no women go after coins too, so that's like... <laughs> how are we much different than them? Um, alright, let's uh, hold... Yeah, we'll just go ahead and... Oh, wow, he did pretty well there. Give this guy a little tickle. Let's hold for these guys. I, wanna, I want them to get closer. Okay, 40%, 32%, We're going to still put up a spear wall. Uh, I kind of want them to come in at this point. Because I feel like we can outnumber them. One, two, three, four. Uh, it's equal numbers. Screw it. They're going to have to come in here. Let's try and overwhelm this guy. We don't have a move until they move. Interesting. Uh, he may just come down here to team up on that guy. Um, 48, 48. Alright, step forward. Smack this guy in the head. Actually, let's aim for his head. We hit him in the head, just didn't take him out. Okay, we blocked our own shot, so we're going to start firing here. Gotta love it when you have the range advantage. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and engage now. I'm gonna take a split here. And move forward. You should probably still now. Shot is kind of blocked here. Let's hold. Dog almost took him out. Move up. Flash. Ah, I was hoping we'd get him. We move up here. Doggy live. Yay, doggy lived. Treating. Okay, let's try and help here. Good, excellent. Uh, let's hold, because our knight might be able to get, make a hole. Let's hold again. Yeah, because now we don't need to move in there. Okay, we're going to move up. Yeah, that's four, so we're not going to be able to get a shot off. Okay, you need to go around this way if, if you want to do anything. Uh, no, doggy, you almost had it.
Need to move into position. Okay. Making good progress here. Let's hold. Finish that guy off. Let's try and flank. Actually, we could have moved in there, couldn't we have? Good move. Get an injured guy out of the way. Uh, Knight has to move around. Let's uh, move this way. Yay, doggy! Okay, this is over pretty much. Um, don't need to do anything, don't need to do anything. Move up. Flash. Do anything. Uh, we're kind of bottlenecked here. There we go. Another good one where we just rolled through them. And we got some good armor out of that as well. That's going to be upgrade over what we have. Okay, so what do we got? The battle over. You pick up an idol of fertility. Look it over. I know what you're thinking, Sellsword. The voice breaks in. You draw your sword and aim it at a stranger who has seemingly appeared from nowhere. You're thinking, what if someone paid good money to steal that artifact? Uh, that their artifact. But if that someone would pay me a good deal of money, perhaps more than the man who paid you to retrieve it in the first place. You lower your weapon and nod. An interesting thought. The man smiles. 980 crowns. That's how much I'll give you for it. That was a Steve, Steve share plus extra. Uh, more than a fair deal. Of course, your employer will be at most unhappy. But well, that's not my choice to make. Uh, no, we're chivalrous. I know Navaroy, Navaroy says chivalry is overrated, uh, but we are a noble knight. Whether we are indeed uh, a lord uh, is another matter, but no, we were paid to retrieve something, we retrieve it. <laughs> Okay, so we have ourselves some nice, good armor here. Anyone that can afford to have it, will have it. Although head protection is really the thing that's lacking in my squad. There we go. You can have that. Actually, we have proper helmets as well. This guy has fatigue for days. <laughs> Problem is, I always play the, like, good gay route. I've always wanted to play one where I'm not a good guy. We'll probably do that with one of the other playthroughs. Well, this is a pretty uh, no-brainer here. Because we definitely have room and fatigue for this guy. Um, speaking of which, room and fatigue... We have a better sword or anything to give him? Let's sort this nonsense out. Not really. Okay. We need to sell a lot of this stuff because we, we're like way beyond what we need. As a matter of fact, these bucklers can probably go. Well, there is ramifications if you if you betray your employers too. The town will not like you, which is never really a good thing. 
Uh, I've also heard that uh, if you betray an employer, there's possible it's possible they'll try and uh, get revenge on you. So they'll send like bounty hunters or something to come after you. Uh, I don't know if that's something that really happens because I've always played the good guy. And I think I've only betrayed an employer once. And in that case, it was a, a caravan mission and a noble house showed up. And it was a noble house that I'd been working a relationship up with. And the noble house said that those the goods were contraband. And I was like, well, I don't want to hurt the relationship with the faction that I've been building, right? So I just went ahead and said, yeah, okay, I'll turn over the, the, the cargo. In that case, the town didn't like me afterwards. And we still have the one skull contract, which we'll be doing here in a second. Okay, let's, let's sell all this. Let's sell that. Yeah, they can turn a hostile on you too. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, we want to get rid of these bucklers. We don't need quite so many around. Don't need a stick. I have better weapons than sticks. Uh, oh, we actually have a hand axe now. So there's a guy that was using an axe. Whether he's still alive or not, I don't know. I think he died. Yep, he died. Um, although you were somebody that was using an axe before. And I actually like hand axes. I think they're good weapons. It doesn't do as much damage as a flail, but it's a nice utility weapon. This guy's got good attack value. Who's my other guy that's pretty good? You're a 60. But we could equip you with a flail. Flares are good because they work well on shields. Yeah. Escort quests and, and stuff. Can be uh, tough sometimes. Okay, let's go ahead and do this contract because it's nice and uh, easy. Uh, we don't make a lot of money doing it, but it gets us going along the path we were going to take anyway. I'm not going to buy anything else because goods are expensive here. But the area we're going to go into, we happen to know that the goods are good prices for us. So we can pick up more copper to sell on. As long as they still don't have that on hold thing. We didn't get any level ups, did we? No, okay. The, the playthrough I'm looking forward to doing, though, after this one, probably the cultist run. I'm kind of interested to see like how the uh, sacrificing mechanic works because um, that's a part of the game. Uh, you also get boons from the Dark God that you uh, are devoted to, which is... I, I would like to see how that all that plays out. It seems interesting. And it seems like kind of like quite a departure from normal stuff that you do. Okay, we get our 90 crowns. Not a lot, but hey, we're here. Yeah, so the unhold's still causing problems here. And the prices have gone up. Okay. That's kind of a bummer because this is where tools are nice and cheap. And I don't like the fact that this effect is going on. And we can make a lot of money off these copper ingots too. Yeah, okay. So the sacrificial stuff is a little obscure. Well, this... this uh, DLC hasn't been out that long, so maybe people haven't figured out all the mechanics yet. Okay. It's kind of scripted? Okay. Let's see what this is. Just fighting giants won't come cheap. Holy moly. Let's say we need to be paid more. 2300. Depends on how many of them there are. Yeah, yeah, I'd prefer no spoilers. Especially if it's something I haven't done before.
I'm tempted, guys. I'm tempted to do this fight. Unholds are a nightmare to deal with. Um, depends on how many of them there are. If it's like one or two, which I doubt at this difficulty level, we'd be able to handle it. If it's like four or five, that starts getting a little tricky. I don't know if we're high enough level for this. Yeah, five or six of them. That's what I'd think. I think we have to move on. But this effect happening at this town screws us. Um, in my opinion, it does. Because this is where we could get cheap tools. We're really needing that. Uh, if we could get those copper ingots, it could get us more money fairly easily. There's also no other towns in the easy walking distance, so we'd have to walk like this. These are all big cities, so we're not going to be able to get any contracts. So I'm going to have to walk all the way over here. And then we've got a few towns over here I can do stuff with. Now, these are places we haven't been to before, so that is kind of one of our objectives. I don't, I don't think we should risk it. I, I already made some mistakes on taking contracts we really couldn't afford to do. Let's just move on. Maybe I should have bought food there. That maybe was a mistake, but we'll end up in this town and we'll do see what's going on there. Two thousand four hundred crowns, though, is or three thousand, whatever. Two thousand three hundred, I think it was. Very tempting, but I think it's a little beyond us at the moment. Okay, I'm not going to wait around. I'm just going to move on to the next town because I don't think we can delay here. Let's go down here. See what kind of contracts we may be able to get. Over time, maybe that unhold thing will go away and we can come back, but... A lot of ruins down here. These guys not, have not been having a good time. Oh, contract. Okay, yep. I accept your offer. Oh, we need to be fed more. There we go. Alright. Before we do that, though. Food. I'll take that. Meat bricks are being sold for a good price. I'll pick them up. Because we can always sell them for a little bit of profit somewhere else. Yeah, we've definitely made mistakes throughout the course of this campaign, but. But we can't hire any more men anyway, so. Okay, they're going off into the woods. Thankfully, not the swamps. I'd prefer not to fight there. Thankfully, we've got some time to track them down here. Do not go back into the swamps. Let's stay out of the woods. There they are. Okay, this should be easy enough, I think. Especially if there's more thugs than uh, raiders. Oh, hello. We'll fight that as soon as the other fight's done. Because it's just thugs. Thugs are easy enough to kill. As long as we don't take too many injuries. Alright, we're actually on good ground here. I might shift up a little bit, but we'll see. They should charge me because of the layout out of my men. We'll let them come forward. There's one guy here that we can't see just yet. Hmm, 
Now I could move in, but I think we should stay on the on the ground that we have. So I think we just maybe shield wall up and then unturn. Yeah, the location ones are pretty profitable. I agree with that. In theory, they could get up here, so I'm just going to go ahead and spear wall and then end turn. Okay, he's on the high ground. Not that it matters. If I hold back, he can't attack me from here. Um, shield wall, turn. Spear wall and turn. Shield wall and turn. Uh, just end turn here. Okay. 31, 26, 31. We'll take the, the guy with the axe. Just from the high damage output potential. Okay, this guy continues to be the easiest one to hit. 64, 66. Oh, come on, you can't miss those shots. Okay. Hold. Hold. Good. Yeah, this guy won't be able to do anything this turn. So let's just go after clear threats. Oh, come on, you can hit him. Hold. Um, no shield for you. No life for you. Let's hold, because this guy would probably move. Move up on the high ground, take advantage of that. Don't have a move here. Um, stab this guy to death. And that guy's dead. That guy's dead. Let's just save arrows at this point. The guy's going to be fleeing. No point in wasting arrows. Down he goes. Okay, we get some more good armor and some good weapons. Not bad. Uh, depending on the condition of the armor, we may not want to equip it right away. Yeah, let's not equip it right away because uh, we want to be able to use this equipment nicely. Okay, you've leveled up. What would be the level up we want to take here? Maybe bags and belts? I 
kind of bad rolls here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this. And then I'm definitely going to take the, the range skill, even though it's not a good roll. I'm digging bags and belts, I think, because we're going to eventually want to have more quivers of arrows and then probably bandage on, bandages on most of my back liners. So, yeah, bags and belts. Bullseye would make sense, too, but... Okay, we didn't really get any... Oh, we have another level up. Definitely defense. Um, fatigue, for sure. And then I think resolve, because this resolve is kind of bad. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then fast have patient. No doubt about it. Let's go, go kill some uh, thugs. I uh, just want to double check what we got on that last thing. Okay. Let's give us an opportunity to get more experience as well as kill a bunch of dudes. Let's back up away from the train. Hopefully they don't tie me down before I get a chance to move away. I don't think they'll be able to do two, four, six... Nine. Yeah, he'll stop here. So we should be able to move away a bit. Now, I could have done this differently. I could have backed up. And I probably should have backed up secondly. We would have been closer range, but that's all right. Just giving myself more space to be able to pepper them as we have the range advantage. And I also don't want this, this terrain coming into play, so... Anything we can do to mitigate that. Also, they'll be more tired. Because they're full running, we're just backing up slightly. Okay. Just going to try and take this guy out because he's a nice, easy target. Okay. That's a way for them. Kind of surprised how bad their initiative is. The thing is, you have to real, real, really realize with thugs is you have to realize that they're not very good, and you can't let how bad they are make you too overconfident. Because if you have a guy that's as good as like this guy is, you can really just mow these guys down. And, uh, I can convince you that you're, you're better than you are. I'm going to hold so we can get more bonuses. Here we already held, so we might as well just move forward and then try and kill. Okay, we don't want to be able to. We don't want to stop these guys from being able to move in. Cause this guy's gonna go here. This guy's gonna go here. So let's move here. I'm not sure I follow you with the also shields. As in, they have shields, or you'll see more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are good equipment. I should probably have the guy with the axe come over here. 
start working on those shields. Actually, I don't know if this is the right direction to move in. Okay, that was an accidental hit. Okay. Guess we got a clear shot here. That guy's gonna run. Okay, interesting move. He has a shield wall up. This guy doesn't. Maybe I should have just let the dog out. hit him. Please attempt it. Move in here. You guys gonna run? No, I've never used Falcons, and the reason I don't use them is because of how expensive they are. And I'm not sure how much I value... It, all they do is give you line of sight, right? Granted, again, I've never used them, so it's kind of hard for me to say. Okay, move in. Not really sure the best place to put my knight. I think we have this handled, so there we go. Let's not waste any more arrows. I think we've got this thing. I Maybe mean, I guess we could just try and be a little more certain here. Yeah, they're really expensive what they do. Like, I, I honestly, I don't know, understand what their utility is. Okay. So they give you, yeah, they give you line of sight. And again, that may, may be really super useful, but again, I just, I don't understand why it uh, costs as much as it does. Ah, I see. Okay, I guess that makes sense. If they're a long ways off, you may not know. Hmm, interesting. Well, you're dead now. Alright, we're starting to get on a roll. Granted, that was some good fortune for us. Okay, so that means that we have better armor for this guy just straight up. Yeah, like, for example, the web next, that would make a lot, lot of usefulness there, because you know where the eggs are. Yeah, Infertile said pretty much that. Okie dokie. Bad rolls, bad rolls. Uh, we'll take the defensive ones, though. They seem to be... Well, they are pretty important. Okay, I think I have a helmet n knocking around. May want to give this guy that helmet. I don't think anybody else can really afford... Better... I mean, we could lower this guy's uh, shield. We wanted to... Also, take that. Let's hold on. Let's make this guy better, because he's one of our better men. Uh, also, you can have that set of armor. There you go. You can have this. So you've got a full Gambison set. 
And then we can even uh, upgrade that to the blotched. It's a nice upgrade. So our front line is getting getting a somewhat established here. We're getting all right armor. Uh, as a matter of fact, this is the only guy that would we would want the better armor on. Oh, okay. So actually, short sword makes sense here because of the fatigue. Yeah, I want to back that off a bit. Okay, another level up. Hmm. I mean. I'm going to take this, this, and ah, the resolve, but we need fatigue on this guy right now, so I'd rather take that. Uh, okay. I think recover here for frontliner. I feel like I've gotten good rolls on my uh, melee skills for the most part. I'm not used to getting good rolls there. It's usually getting like ones or twos a lot of the time, so I'll take them when I get them. Okay, up the resolve, because that's kind of bad. Up the initiative, that's always a good thing to do with your range guys. And I'll take the plus two, even though it's not that great of a roll. And then you... Uh, I'll go with the bags and belts again here. Because as you see, that opens us up more slots if we have a bandage. Okay, we got a good roll here, so I'll take it. Resolve's looking pretty good, so I don't know how much of that I want that, necessarily. I'm going to take the Resolve nonetheless, though. And again, we're going to go Bags and Belts here. Okay. Looking good. Um, how are we doing on various equipment? Okay. So what I need is a Quiver of Arrows at some point. We're not getting paid a ton with this mission. We are out of arrows now, so that's a little bit of concern. With as many uh, ranged guys as we have, that is going to be our concern. We're going to look for improving ourselves in that regard. I'm going to take these pea bricks and take them up there eventually. I don't think we're going to get anything out of this town, so we'll just move on. Okay, let's get out of here. Matter of fact, I'm not going to stop here. I'm going to go over here. Because I've never been. Okay. Well, there's a pea pit over here, so we're not likely going to be able to sell those for any profit. Oh, well. And our food is dropping as well. This is not really a great spot to be in. Oh, hello, barbarians. Let's just back away from this road a bit. Yeah, see, patrols didn't used to kill the barbarians. And I'm glad they changed that, because that doesn't make any sense. These are hostile forces. We could try and help them, but... Let's just move on. Let's get back on the road if we can. Okay, they have ambush trade routes, so that means that they're not likely going to sell the pea bricks for a good price for us. Matter of fact, they're not selling much of anything for a good price. Let's see what these contracts are. Maybe we can get away with one. Okay, so this is a travel contract. Um, let's talk money. I want to be paid more. Okay, he agrees. Uh, accept your offer. Where are we going? We're going back to Rheinberg. I don't know if we can say no to this. I, th I think we take it. Unless we want to do another contract that maybe uh, gets rid of. Let's see what this is. Okay.
Wait, what? Um, is he asking me to go kill another, uh, wreck another town? I want to see specifically what he's, he's paying. I'm going to ask for more. Um, what is he asking us to do? So he's asking us to kill barbarians. I don't know if that takes care of the, the trade route thing. I don't really want to fight barbarians. So I'm going to say I need some time to think about it because I'm not going to say flat out no. Um, we will take this travel contract though instead. Away we go. Reinberg is where we buy tools. So maybe that will get us what we need. Kind of takes us back the other way though. Not really what I wanted to do. But again, we're not eating up our food. Okay. Okay, so we got three options. So show him how to brawl, see how long you can keep him going, or toughen him up, will you? What do you guys think? I don't know who this is that he's trying to train. This is the reason why you like having brawlers in your, your company, because because they, they'll do this. They'll go, hey, that guy's weak. I need to make him strong. That's probably our cultist, though, looking at the image. Okay, either one of these. Well, I guess this is like, um, this is probably fatigue. Toughen them up, will you? Uh, that could be hit points. Show him how to brawl, that's melee skill. And I think this guy is pretty lacking in that regard. That's why we gave him a, sp uh, a spear, so let's say that. So it's plus two melee skill and plus two defense. All right, that's a good event to have. Let's see where he's at. He's now up to 51. Good. You know, now that I think about it, I could upgrade him even further with the armor. Let's do that. I think after this uh, contract, we're probably going to wrap things up here. Oh, hello. Um, nah, we, we, even if this is somebody we would recruit, we don't recruit, we don't have room for him. So don't waste my breath. I don't give a shite who you are. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. You can claim to be a nobleman all you want. Now, maybe he would just ask, he would just reward us with money. Oh, hello. All right. We're going to be fighting this out a little bit longer than I had expected. Thankfully, they're just thralls. I say they're just thralls, but... Okay, we can't let them get the high ground. Two, four, six, eight. They'd stop here. Okay. I'm going to hold for them and wait for them to come to me. The dogs would probably take that high ground, though, is the unfortunate thing. Oh, there's only three of them. Okay. All righty. Hello there. So, uh, night up on the hill, split shot, maybe? I'm gonna put my own dog out. Right there. Dog on dog action. It's not really where I wanted him to go, but alright. Actually, I may do the, the wave of my sword and just chop these guys down if I can. So this guy's going to step up, so we might as well step forward. Down you go. Try to take it out. Uh, 
Ah, damn. Did I just hit my own man? I wasn't paying attention to where the swing was. Thankfully, I missed, but... I meant to swing at that guy. Whoops. Thank you. Dance here. Good job, doggy. Let's try and clear out one side so we can maybe flank. Help out down here. Oh, you ah, ass. Well, now you're dead, so like, yeah, I hope you like that. One down. Thanks, Caravan Hands. You're always the uh, help here. Get him, doggy. Ah. Oh, come on. A dog's holding out. Let's hold and see if my knight can take that dude out. Ah, uh, forgot he was bleeding. Kill the dog! Kill the dog! Yay! Okay, you tie him up. He's pretty tired now. Kinda got in my way, doggy. Okay, um... Hey, 
now. Doggy was a bad guy. I know. I know Peter would say otherwise, but... <laughs> uh, take that. We're not going to be able to fire this turn. Guys that can't get in, or I'm just going to have wait. Okay, we might be able to get the kill here. There we go. That wasn't too bad. We get some level ups. Some more awesome bear head pieces. Okay, cool stuff. Well, that happened right as we were uh, getting close to town, so let's let that happen. Hey, we got our 200 crowns. And I think we're going to wrap up here. So I've got some level ups to do when next I pick this up. But although we have had a lot of death on this campaign, what are we looking at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight deaths overall. This guy kind of hurt. Because he was one of my more experienced guys. Most of the rest of guys that died, it was like their first or second day on the job. So they were really not high level, so it wasn't really that big of an investment that we lost. And we're now kind of in that realm where we're starting to pick up steam. We're getting the levels we need. We're getting the equipment we need to make our guys more survivable. We're still not quite there, but we're getting there. All right, so if you're watching this on YouTube, we're going to go ahead and wrap up here. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.